Hey, today I want to talk to you about these Benjamin match grade pellets. These came out not too long ago. I didn't even know they were a thing. I was at the uh, Pyramid Air Cup and they had vendors there and I was walking around and they had a Benjamin booth and I walked up and the guy said, hey, check out these Benjamin Premier pellets that we just came out and came out with and I want you to try them, see what you think, test them out. So I was like, sure, I'll, I'll test them out. And um, these are kind of the next evolution of those, uh, back in the day, the Crossman Premier pellets that, that came in, I don't know how many came in a box, big brown box and it had a lot number on it. And back in the day, that was the go-to pellet for, for field target shooters. Well, this is kind of the next evolution of those uh, from Benjamin. Now, uh, the first thing I noticed is these are made in the USA, which is really cool. Uh, nice to have something made in the USA that's quality. Um, there's 500 of these. This is 177 caliber, 500 of these in a tin. Usually, uh, most other brands, I think you get 400 in a tin. And, um, so 500 in here, uh, 177. The head size is listed as 4.5 millimeters. When I measured these, they were 4.53 millimeters. Just with the gauge that I was using, um, you might have uh, a different measurement, but that's what I got. And then the ones I weighed, these are listed as 10.5 grains. The ones I weighed varied from 10.48 to 10.66. Um, that's probably pretty typical for a 177 caliber pellet. It's a very small pellet. and. Um, the weight I'm not as much concerned with as much as consistency of the head size. That's really where I'm looking for um, uh, what my air gun likes is, is more of head size than weight. Um, it's nice to have a, a consistent weight too, don't get me wrong. Anyway, that's that's what I, whenever I measured these, that's what I got. Um, the very fir first thing I noticed when I walked up, besides Made in the USA and 500, was the tin has a screw on lid, which is so nice. A lot of pellets you get if you've been shooting air guns for any length of time, it has like the push on, especially with 177 for some reason. It has the push on lid, which is okay, but sometimes you're trying to get it off and it don't want to come off and then you end up spilling your pellets and you look like an idiot. So it's nice to have a screw on lid. I like that. Um, whenever I look at these pellets and I'll open these up, the pellets are pretty clean. They have a nice finish to them and, and they look good. They're, it's a good looking pellet that they were in sh good shape and I've shot quite a few. So there's, that's why the tin looks kind of halfway empty. I've shot a bunch to test them. Um, but I didn't see any bent skirts. I didn't see any mangled pellets. They, they look like they're in good shape. So, um, that was the very first thing I noticed. So, um, I did notice, and I'm going to, don't laugh at me. I'm going to look, look at these with my magnifying glasses. I did notice when I looked at these, and I'll try to sh show a picture of these, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the picture, but whenever you look at them really close, you can see the a really faint mold line on the skirt. And if you follow that line, you can actually follow it onto the head. So you can just barely see that mold line on the head. Now, it's not deep and it's not very pronounced. I don't think it's enough to really cause any accuracy issues. I didn't notice any, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But I, it's just something I noticed. When I looked at them really closely, and I, you know, for a Grand Prix, big matches like that, I'll usually inspect my pellets to make sure that they're in good shape. And um, so I didn't notice that on these pellets. But like I said, I don't think it's a, a big enough deal to really worry about. So, um, so yeah, I shot a bunch of groups of these. Uh, I shot off of a bench and I uh, used a gun vise to try to take me out of the equation as much as possible. I tried to pick a day that wasn't very windy and I was shooting at 55 yards because field target shooters, that's the furthest we shoot in competition is 55 yards. We're shooting a, a, a kill zone that's an inch and a half at 55 yards. So um, that's where you'll see your groups open up the most for, for what we're shooting. So that's where I want to check the performance of the pellet. So at 55 yards, I was shooting 10 shot groups and I shot a bunch of groups and got an average. Okay. So the average uh, group size that I got at 55 yards with these 177 pellets shooting uh, under 20 foot pounds um, was 20.97 millimeters. And that was pretty good. Now that's comparable, very comparable to a similar weight pellet of another brand that I shoot for field target. So I was pretty impressed with these. Um, 
I definitely think it's a pellet that you should try in your air rifle to, to test it out. Now, I get asked all the time, what pellet is is good for such and such rifle or your rifle or whatever, you know, and you always have to answer the, about the same way. I mean, you can give suggestions to try, but you really need to try different brands to see what your rifle likes because uh, every barrel is a little different. Every barrel likes a little bit different head size or weight or velocity or all these things go into accuracy with an air rifle. So you need to try different pellets to see what your gun likes. And I think you should try these Benjamin match grade pellets and see if it's the pellet for you. All right. Thanks a lot.